So making this hooded towel, I have the towel I'm going to use for the body. I'm just going to set that aside for now. And typically you would buy a small, smaller hand towel to use for the hood, which Target didn't have that available when I went to the store. So I ended up buying two of the big ones because I couldn't wait to um, order or wait in for the smaller one to get stocked. So what you're going to do is just take that bigger, your hand towel, or if you, in my case, a bigger towel, and you're just going to fold it and uh, make a, a kind of a folded edge here. I have these handy templates that I have available. I'll put a link in the description. Um, here it tells you the finished edge. That's the finished edge of the fabric. That goes here in the bottom. And then the folded edge, I'm doing the baby size, is gonna be over on to the right over here. So I'm just gonna put my template there, line that up. I'm gonna just actually put my towel in alignment with my marks here, my rotary mat, just so that I nice, I'm nice, sure I'm nice and straight. Then if you have a scissors, you can use that. I prefer a rotor, rotary cutter and a ruler. And I'm just going to then cut against the edge of that template to make the hood. And then I'm gonna do the top section. Make sure I'm straight. Okay. And if you have a hand towel and you're doing the baby size, you can usually sneak a, like two hoods out of it. So if you're making more than one, you'd be able to um, most likely get two out of there depending on the size that you have. So this is gonna be used then for the hood of the bath towel. Um, before we get started on that, I'm gonna embroider a name right here. Um, so I will be back shortly here once I get that done. All right, so I have my name embroidered on the right side of the towel. It's hard to really tell which is the right side and which is the wrong side. What I tend to do is I look at the towel and find out where the tag is. You can usually see the edges are rolled towards that back edge. And so then I know that this then is the right side. And so um, I kind of did the same then with my embroidery. I made sure I embroidered on what's going to be the front side of the towel. So first we're going to do then is to take your hood piece fold it in half here this way, matching these edges here, and then go ahead and put some pins on this top edge right here. In this baby size, my dimensions are about 16 inches wide by about nine inches tall. So I'm folding it this way and I'm pinning right here. Now with this terry cloth, a lot of times it'll, it'll fray and un unravel. So what I like to do is I like to, when I first sew this edge here, I'm gonna just use um, probably just over a quarter of an inch straight stitch here. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna zigzag stitch over that to prevent it from fraying and then coming undone. So we'll go ahead then and sew this top edge now. All right, so now I have that hood sewn together. I'm gonna flip it right side out so you can see what it looks like. And we'll attach that to the towel here in a second. But first I wanna show you um, what you can do to that point. If you want a pointed hood on the towel, you leave it as is. If you want it to be a little more rounded, it kind of softens the appearance a little bit, I'll show you how to do that now. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put it back um, this way here. And what I want you to do then is we're going to kind of open this up this way and make a triangle out of the fabric. And so that you can see my seam that I just sewn here is going straight up and down. And I'm going to use my rotary cutter and ruler. And I'm just gonna cut off, oh gosh, I might just do one and a quarter inches. The more you cut, the, the less drastic that um, point is gonna be. And so I just want a little bit off the top there. So I'm doing, oh, that's a tough cut. Um, from the tip of here to here was one and a quarter on my on my mat here. So then I'm gonna go now and I'm gonna just sew this together in the same manner that we just did, a straight stitch and then follow up with a zigzag stitch. So I'll go do that next. So you can see now how the non-pointed hat, the hood I should say, looks. It's just a little bit, I don't know, a little softer appearance. Um, on that hooded bath towel. So then the next step is going to be to then attach this to the towel. What I do is sometimes they have in these towels, they have these little loops like this um, and that's nice for hanging up and I kind of want that to be right at the right behind the hood there. So I'm going to have that be my center point. If you don't have a loop like that, what you would do is you would just fold your towel 
the long edge together to find that center part and then put a pin in there just so that you know. And actually this loop is a little off center, so I'm gonna have to decide, I might just keep it as is and just use that as my center. I could potentially detach it and move it to the center, but I'm just gonna work with what I have. And so this is the wrong, this is the wrong side of the fabric because this is gonna be the outside. I'm gonna start with my right sides of the fabric facing each other. So I'm gonna have my looped edge or the wrong side of the fabric facing my work mat. And now I'm gonna take my hood and I'm gonna take the, um, I'm gonna have my right sides facing. So I'm talking out loud to make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, so I'm gonna have the right side, the part where you can't see the raw edges of that. I'm gonna have that seam, it's my back center of my hood. I'm gonna have that face down and I'm gonna center it with that loop and then pin it in place against the um, that folded edge of the towel. And I'm gonna just work along each side and pin my raw edge in alignment with the top of that folded edge all the way to the end. All right, so then when we get to the next part where we sew it together, um, I typically will sew right, right at the edge of that folded edge of the towel, because if you just go, you know, maybe a fourth of an inch, some of that is gonna be left behind, and then when you look at it, from the back side, you're gonna see kind of a folded edge and then not, it just doesn't look as as neat. And so I prefer just to sew um, right at the right underneath that folded edge mark to connect my hood to the towel. Um, you're gonna repeat what we just did on the previous steps where you're gonna do a straight stitch and then you're gonna follow up with a zigzag stitch. And then when I sew this together, I'm gonna flip it around so you can see it. I'm going to sew right here, right underneath that folded edge. And we will come back and meet. When I do sew, I'm gonna make sure I keep this loop out of the way so that I don't accidentally catch that and make that not, not workable. So we'll sew next. All right, so now I have that attached. And you can see on the back, there's none of that um, folded rolled edge visible. It just looks like a nice clean seam. Um, go ahead if you need to snip any loose ends here if you have any threads or whatnot hanging out um, and then how I kind of roll this up to present it if I'm giving it as a gift is I just go ahead and I take one of the edges I have my hood up like this and I just take this and I roll it until I get to about the center you can see there's the center right there and then I do the same on the other edge just kind of roll it towards the center. And then once you get to the center, what I do is I kind of roll it into, oh gosh, I think that's third. So I take about the bottom third up and then I roll it again, maybe a little, oh, let's do, I think I'm actually gonna do about half, maybe a little over the halfway mark here. And I roll it again up towards that hood. And then I take my hood and I lift it and I bring it up over that folded edge like that. And just kind of tuck in any excess there. So we're finished. It's ready to give as a gift. How cute is that? I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my station. Have a great day. Thank you.